Good morning, everyone. Steve Georgie here from Allendale's Trading Floor. It is January 22nd. So coming up to a big week next week, we've got Allendale's uh, Outlook Conference Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. Certainly get signed up for that. We're going to have an in-depth look at corn, beans, wheat, cattle, hogs. And even on Wednesday, we're going to have Drew Lerner from World Weather, Inc. going through the entire year outlook for weather. Going to be very exciting, a great time. You're going to get price projections. You're going to have a good look at, at all fundamental uh, news going through the year. So it's a great way to start your marketing plans and really dive into the grains and, and, and get, get a good look of what's ahead. So get registered with us today. Give us a call for pricing. I'd be glad to help you out uh, if, you, if you need it. So give us a call. That is next week, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. It's a webinar format, and so get online um, and, and register today, as I said, but, but give me a call, and uh, we'll bring this, we bring this meeting to you, so you don't have to come here to Crystal Lake or to McHenry in order to view that. You can do it right online. So um, markets today, though, starting off a little better. Corn up three overnight, beans up six, wheat's up a little bit. Export sales out this morning, though, pretty decent for corn. We were looking for that, though. 600,000 to 900,000 tons was the expectation. Came out at 1.16 million metric tons. Beats expectation. So maybe we'll see a little better start for corn this morning. Beans, they were looking 700,000 to a million metric tons. Came in at 985, so upper end of the range there. And then for wheat, 200 to 400,000. Came in at 362, so within range. Um, probably gonna see a lot of positioning here just for the end of the week. Are we going to see some more buying, more short covering out of the grains? Maybe. Uh, February options go off the board today at the close, uh, but all eyes are going to be on these outside markets. What's the stock market doing? Are we going to find it? Are we putting in a low right now for crude oil? We're well off the lows. We've got a nice recovery. We've got more buying today for crude oil. That right there gives the sense of it's okay to buy things. And so, it's, uh, it's helping support commodities in general. But the other thing is that the dollar is higher once again. So be careful with that. As the dollar is rallying, right now we may be getting just a, uh, just a, a sense of, of everything is okay when if that dollar does continue to rally, typically that is that's still ugly for commodities. So be careful on this bounce. Uh, cattle markets, we're up a dollar for, for feeder or for fat cattle right now. A little better uh, than a dollar higher for feeders. Box beef, though, coming in a little lower. Choice down 228. Select down 106. We're hearing bids out there, 128 in Texas. There is a cattle on feed report, though, later on uh, this afternoon. And so that may kind of cap this rally that we're seeing um, and may have us more with just a choppy session. So expect that. There is expanded limits, though, for cattle today. We did finish limit up. So we have $4.50 limits here for fat cattle. Uh, hogs down 32 cents as far as cutout values. They're right back and forth of unchanged as of right now. Uh, but look for them maybe to continue their trend a little higher as we go into next week. Uh, but uh, all eyes are going to be more so on the stock market, on the outside markets and what's going on. You got the Dow right now up 185 points. Crude oil up $1.44. And then you've got the dollar, 38 cents higher as well. So uh, we'll see. Keep an eye on those. But give us a call if you have any questions or to sign up for our conference next week. You can reach us here, 800-262-7538 or on the web at allendale-inc.com. I hope you guys have a great day. Have a great weekend. We'll talk to you again next week. Take care.